Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again. And in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you four Game Boy games that I picked up recently. So I got these for um, 10 British pounds, which is the equivalent of about 13 or 14 dollars. Um, so without any further ado, uh, as you can see, the first one here is Super Mario Land. The stick is in uh, really, really nice condition. It is official. I have taken it apart and it is completely official. It's a little bit yellowed, but um, not not too worried about that the stick is really nice um the next one is the bugs bunnies crazy castle so yeah stick is really really nice again i took this one apart as well cleaned it all up um so yeah a little bit yellow the next one here is a bootleg pokemon game as you can see so this is pokemon red um you've got the lovely uh link to yellow to catch all 251 monsters i love that um, and then you've got this really, really like high, oversaturated picture of Charizard there. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit, well, it's completely uh, bootleg. Took that one apart as well. I don't want to spoil this next one. Took that one apart as well, and it's um, completely fake. It's 100% fake. And there's a really weird way of saving the batteries, which arguably is better than uh, than an official one. It's basically got like a little battery holder and you can just pop the batteries uh, in and out. I'll show you that one in a minute. And the last and final here, and perhaps one of the rarest Game Boy games now in my collection, is this, which is the Pokemon Pocket Monsters Diamond. So this is a another bootleg of Pokemon. Um, this was actually a ripoff from a Japanese game. Uh, as you can see, the quality control on here is just absolutely on point. So we've got this nice little number printed along here. Stick is just all over the place. It's got the sharp lines down the edge there. So what I thought I'd do is quickly take it apart and then I'll uh, show you some gameplay. Toshiba chip in it just there um, and it's also got a, a cheaper kind of not really sure that is like a chip there it's got like a glue over the top of it I'm not too sure of the name and it's got a little sticker on top as well and it's also got a battery just in there and it's exactly the same in the other one pretty much as well so um, yeah that's the fake chip and there's nothing behind the uh, plastic here it's got a couple of numbers 2002 maybe that's kind of helpful I know there's a guy on my channel um, who really likes to look at the bootlegs and stuff like that, so hopefully that will interest him. Um, so what I'll do now is put everything back together and I'll show you a little bit of uh, gameplay. Okay, so it's going to be quite hard to show you, um, but I'll just try to do my best here. So you've got this really weird, like, cut in half thing here. Not too sure what any of this actually means. So you can decide the time here, and um, I guess that's you choosing the time. One thing which is quite funny is a glitch on this, um, that it doesn't actually save any of the games, it doesn't load any of the game saves. So each time you are basically starting again. Just a quick note, it keeps referring to this thing called the D-Shoot. I have no idea what that means, um, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. The translation on this is absolutely appalling, um, they've literally just put the whole script into Google Translate and it's just shat out there. Here we go, we've got a fight now. We're fighting against Uzi. Didn't call the mate. Here we go. Died. Oh yeah. He lost some 40 points. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my goodness. I got a 32 ball. Wait, did I get 32 balls? That's a lot of balls.
Right, well, oh, there we go. That's pretty much it. Um, don't really know what to say about that. It's a complete disaster of a game. Um, if you guys want to see a longer game kind of play of that, then maybe I could do a live stream or something on my, my GameCube player. I'll get like a capture card and whatnot and we'll maybe sort that out. Um, let me know in the comments. If you guys are, are interested in seeing maybe anything in particular on this game, then let me know. I'll happily show you. So uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.